expansion and contraction. Let me take this glass bottle. Apply some water on the edges and place small coin on it. If I rub my hands quickly and surround the bottle with my hands, what will happen? After some time, coin starts to dance. What must be the reason for this? As I rubbed my hands, heat is generated. When I was holding the glass bottle, this heat was transferred to the glass. Heated glass in turn heats the air inside. Air expands on heating. Glass is rigid and it cannot expand. Only way is to lift the coin and move out. But coin has weight. Only when enough pressure is built inside, coin will be lifted. Let's take this flat balloon and tie to the glass bottle. If I place this glass bottle in hot water, what will happen? Balloon will inflate after some time. Who blew air inside this balloon? As we place the bottle in hot water, it heated the glass which eventually heated the air inside the bottle. As air expands on heating, it had no other way than to enter the balloon. Heating the air expands it. How about cooling the air? Will it contract it? Let me take this inflated balloon. It is difficult to put it inside the bottle. I need to press it inside the bottle. Bottle is filled with very cold solution of ice and water. Temperature is as low as minus 10 degrees Celsius. If I try to remove the balloon after some time, I can take it out without much effort. How about water? Does it expand on heating? We can check it out with this activity. Take a glass bottle and fill it completely with water. Make a hole and fix an empty refill in it. Ensure that it is sealed completely. What will happen if I dip this glass bottle in very hot water? Will the water rise through the refill? Let's try. As boiling water in the container comes in contact with the bottle, heat transfer occurs. First, heat is transferred from hot water to the glass and then from the glass to water inside it. Increase in temperature of water results in expansion of water as a whole. There is no other way to expand except through the refill. We can see that level of water rises slightly. Can you try this with other liquids like oil or alcohol? Let me take this aluminium rod from hanger. As I heat it, it expands. Its length increases on heat. Any idea why there are gaps between the rail tracks? If two railway tracks are laid together without any gap between them, they will push against each other because they expand on heating. When they cool down in the night, they will contract and return to their original state. This constant pushing and pulling against one another will result in the weakening of the joints between the two tracks. And after a few days, the two tracks may also break free from one another. Gaps enable rails to expand without affecting each other. Without these gaps, rails will bend. But nowadays, gaps are filled with some special material. This is the reason why rail track used to have gaps earlier. We saw that the rod expands on heating and its length increases. What about the area? Let us take this aluminium sheet and make a small hole. This steel ball is not going through the hole right now. What will happen if I heat it? Just like this rod, sheet also expands on heating in all the directions. After heating, steel ball easily goes through the hole. Try this with other metals also. Summary 
we discussed the effects of heat on solids, liquids and gases. Substances expand on heating and contract on cooling. Do try this with everyday things around you. Why this expansion and contraction takes place? We will see this in the next standard.